What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number two of the preseason, a year number three of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise, as the Crusaders are in Pittsburgh getting ready to take on the Steelers. We've seen them quite a few times in this series now, especially uh, starting last year. I think we played them twice, once in the regular season, once in the preseason. So it's kind of becoming our own little rivalry. You know, the two black and yellow teams. I mean, it's not like a real rivalry, but it's kind of fun to battle it out uh, considering there is a new black and yellow team on the block. And I'm pretty sure we made it further than the Steelers last year. So hopefully we can continue this trend as James McGee is back to receive the kick here. And let's go ahead and check out the Steelers lineup, see if any changes have been made now that we are in year three. And no Ben Roethlisberger. Wow. That is a huge move uh, for them to not have him anymore. Le'Veon Bell is going to be the running back. Jacoby Curse behind him, a rookie. And then Archer is going to be the third string. Uh, John Connor at fullback. Antonio Brown, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Mike Williams behind him. And they brought DeAndre Hopkins over. That is a huge pickup for the Steelers. I think he is going to be great for this team. Martavius Bennett. Uh, Brent Selleck. Luke Stocker. Uh, offensive line. Oh, they got Blanche Flower, too. Uh, checking out the offensive line here. But, yeah, we've been playing this team quite a bit now. And uh, it's kind of fun. I always like playing the Steelers. It's going to be interesting with all the rain here today. Hopefully, we don't have too many mistakes. Dropped passes, something we definitely need to improve on. Uh, Cam Thomas, a defensive tackle. And Sherrod, the, one of the brother linebackers that we scouted, uh, is going to be starting here for the Steelers. And their linebacking core is absolutely amazing. Leotis McKelvin as well. A nice pickup for them. Mike Mitchell at free safety and Thomas at strong safety. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick this one off. We definitely got to watch out for Brown and Archer, both return threats. Let's go ahead and kick this one off, though. This is going to McGee, and he is going to field this on about the 11-yard line. A very short kick here, and he is going to return it up to about the 23, and that is where Derek Carr and the Crusaders will take over Devin Golden running up the middle a gain of four second and six now car dropping back pressures coming he gets the ball off to Denarius Moore a huge catch across the 40 yard line to the 42 a handoff to Golden runs right up the middle a gain of about seven there second and three Golden on the right side has some room to work with he beats the linebacker on the outside and a huge gain down to the 35 yard line Graves this time coming into the game on the left side picks up for second and six Derek Carr Pressure is coming. He is going down, and that is the rookie Sherrod, one of the brothers, making the sack, making his presence known early on in his NFL career as Keiston Mack with a nice catch of about seven yards. And the field goal 49-yard attempt is good from the rookie kicker. Samuels will knock it through the uprights to give the Crusaders a 3-0 lead. Brock and the Steelers take it over now, and on the right side, they find Antonio Brown to get things going. A gain of eight, second and two. Le'Veon Bell, nowhere for him to go. It's going to be third and two now. Another handoff to Bell. He has the first down and more up to about the 31-yard line. First and ten right up the middle this time, and he is going to pick up about nine on the play. Second and one, another first down here for the Steelers to the 42-yard line. Brock dropping back, ten seconds to go in the first quarter, almost intercepted by Brandon Spikes there. And that will take us uh, to second and ten on the right side. And he is going to have a completion. I thought he might have been out of bounds, but that was not the case. Landry Jones coming in at quarterback. And the rookie Okafor is going to get the sack. That will make it second and 16 after the six-yard loss there. And Landry Jones on the right side. Wheaton drops the pass. We kind of saw that coming with the rain. It's going to be a slippery ball today as Luke Stalker makes the catch. And he is only going to gain about three yards there. So fourth and 14. And a very long field goal. Has the distance, but it goes to the left. And that will set the Crusaders up with great field position as they take over. Graves fumbles the ball on the first carry of the drive, though. And the Steelers will recover on their own 47-yard line. A huge mistake from the rookie Graves, who is fighting for a spot despite his solid Week 1 performance. As Jacoby Curse, a nice spin move running down the right side of the field to the 40 or 34-yard line. A gain of 20 yards from the rookie running back there. First and 10 on the right side. Wheaton is going to have a catch to the 29, second and 5. Landry Jones in the pocket on the right side. Finds Bryant down to about the 21-yard line. An 8-yard reception there. Hand off to Jacoby Curse on the left side inside the 20-yard line 
to the 17, a three-yard run, second and seven. Archer this time has a spin move, tries to get away, but he can't. He will only have a yard there. Third and six, this is a big play for the Steelers, and Bryant with a huge catch down to the five-yard line. Landry Jones is four or five to start things off here is Curse. Trying to get into the end zone. Gains two there. Second and goal. A spin move. Fighting his way down to about the one yard line. Great effort there. And then on the very next play, they will get into the end zone. Touchdown for the Steelers. They will take a 7-3 lead. A lot of effort from the rookie running back on that drive. Got to... Gotta like that if you're a Steelers fan. Graves this time trying to redeem himself after the fumble. An eight-yard carry there, second and two on the right side. Graves, a nice catch out of the backfield this time to the 36-yard line, first and 10. And uh, Isaac Cosby will not be able to hold on to that ball. Second and 10 on the left side. This is going to get batted down. Third and 10 now for the Crusaders and almost intercepted there. Poor pass, first and 10 for the Steelers as they take over, and there is no way he is making that catch. Great effort from the rookie to bat that pass down. Second and 10 now for the Steelers. 37 seconds to go here in the first half, and he is going down. That is the second sack of the day for this Crusaders defense. Jacoby Curse up the middle is only going to gain a few yards, but it is good enough for a first down as Wheaton drops the pass here in the third quarter, and the Steelers have the ball back. Uh, to start the second half on the left side, a gain of about seven, third and three now on the right side. Curly, another dropped pass, and that will give the Crusaders the ball back small. We'll throw it over the middle. That is going to get batted down. It is going to be second and ten, one and five start for Trey Man Small. Not a good start for him, but he can turn it around quickly, especially if this running game gets going. And Graves picked up the first down, another run for him. He's going to gain three yards there. Second and seven on the right side. Rivera cannot hold on to the ball. Third and seven now for Trey Man Small. He finds Isaac Cosby for the first down. An eight-yard reception there. First and ten. Hand off the Graves up the middle. And Graves is just good at bullying his way through defenses. It is tough to bring him down, and I like it. It is going to be third and four now for Trey Man Small. And he will find Bobby Stevenson. A very tough catch, but he came down with it for the first down. Graves on the left side. Is going to have a nice run of about eight yards. Second and two, Trey Man Small is going to find Bobby Stevenson. Another tough grab. He is looking very good to start this season out. Um, it's a big improvement from where he was last season, and we can already tell that. Stevenson, again, another catch down to the 17-yard line, a 13-yard reception there. Pressure is coming. Small gets the ball away, but Armonte Edwards cannot hold on to the pass. Second and 10. This one is almost intercepted. Third and 10 now for the Crusaders, and Small will connect with Isaac Cosby into the end zone. Touchdown to give the Crusaders a 10-7 lead here as the third quarter is getting ready to expire. So we're going to have one more quarter quarter for the Steelers to recapture the lead here and that passes behind Bryant that could have been a huge game but Landry Jones threw it just behind him and this time DJ Hayden is going to make the interception to end the third setting up the Crusaders with great field position there will be one more play in the third I take that back and Graves will run it into the 43 yard line of Steeler territory Graves on the left side nowhere to go third and six now and J.D. Everett is coming to the game, and he is going to run the ball down the right side of the field, a gain of 13 yards. That is why we drafted him, to see if he can make plays with his feet, as he did there. Graves up the middle, a first down and more, gain of 12 yards, first and 10. J.D. Everett to the end zone, or just shy, Keiston Mack with a 15-yard reception. And I am so excited about this guy. He is looking good. Graves up the middle, another touchdown in his young preseason career here for the rookie running back. And he is going to be a great third down back, guys. Landry Jones and the Steelers taking back over. And Keith McGill with the interception. He lands out of bounds. But Landry Jones is struggling against this Crusader defense. Only 4 of 11 right now. Second and 10. And a terrible throw there. Nowhere near any of his targets. 4 of 12 for only 28 yards. Pulling a Johnny Manziel kind of performance right now. This one goes out of bounds. First and 10 for the Crusaders. J.D. Everett is going to find Isaac Cosby. And that should be just shy of a first down. Second and one. Graves is actually going to get stuffed, but they will give it to him. J.D. Everett on the right side. Shakir Gayton cannot hold on to the ball. Second and ten. Now Graves into Steeler territory. Down to about the 36-yard line. I guess they were on Steeler territory. But on that third down rush, he will pick up the first down. Play action, and Everett is getting sacked. That is not good. They need to kick a field goal here, if nothing else. Second and 20. A spin move. And, uh... I, 
uh, third and 22 now on the right side. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, the Steelers will have the ball back. They are down by 10 points, though, and Wheaton will pick up the first down. A minute 30 to go. The Steelers need to make something happen. Luke Stocker is going to have a 14-yard reception there. Landry Jones on the right side, and nobody wants to guard Bryant. Nobody was even near him as he is going to have a huge completion into Crusader territory. Landry Jones starting to catch fire here a little bit as he finds Jacoby Curse on the right side. Second and nine. Landry Jones is going to run the ball for a first down and more all the way down to the 32-yard line line first and 10 for the Steelers pressure's coming Jones gets the ball off another completion he is on fire here in this two minute drill but he is going down Brandon Spikes with the sack second and 11 and this is going to be another completed pass to Curly down to the 14 yard line third and five now for the Steelers Landry Jones plenty of time to work with and I thought I hit the triangle button to pick that pass off I did no such thing apparently and Wheaton will have a touchdown making a three-point game after the uh, extra point here, they are going to try an onside kick, and Khalil Mack will recover. Uh, I hit the X button too quick, and I did not have an onside kick formation, but Khalil Mack doesn't care. He will recover it for us. And the Crusaders just have to kneel the ball to end the game, picking up their second straight road victory here in the preseason, moving to 2-0. 17-14 is going to be the final score, and a lot of promise from our rookie running backs. I really like J.D. Everett's performance. Had a nice scramble for 13 yards on the right side. Uh, did a good job finding Keiston Mack that uh, got all the way down to about the uh, five-yard line to set up the second touchdown of the game for the offense. Really, really a lot of promising rookies we have right now, and they are all looking good. Bobby Stevenson, also a very good game from him. I like to see him getting involved more early on. Trey Man Small, 6 of 13, 59 yards. J.D. Everett, 2 of 4, 24 yards. And Derek Carr, 2 of 2, 22 yards. Uh, doing what he was supposed to do there. Trey Man Small, the only touchdown pass of the game, but no interceptions, no mistakes. Emmanuel Graves, 4.1 yards to carry, 70 yards on 17 carries, and a touchdown. Devin Golden, 8.6 yards a carry. He is ready for the regular season, guys. I'm excited. And then J.D. Everett, he really only had one carry. They count the kneels as rushes, but he had one carry for 13 yards. Uh, very excited about him. Bobby Stevenson, three catches, 26 yards. Isaac Cosby, the only touchdown of the day. Keystone Mack, though, had that nice 15-yard reception. I was really excited about that. Uh, his other one went for about seven yards. Still a lot of drops on the day. We have five of them. However, it was rainy, and uh, a lot of the drops, they were hit the second the ball hit their hands. I'm not too, too upset about it. Um, would like to obviously not see it, but that's okay. Uh, in terms of sacks, oh, uh, Ray and Ard Ray getting four tackles there. Uh, tackles for loss. Okafor and Spikes getting the two sacks on the day. I guess they didn't count that second one as a sack towards the end of the half. DJ Hayden got an interception. Oscar Samuels a nice 49-yard kick there. I'm excited about him. He's looking pretty good so far. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you next time. Later.